We move to the report by Mr. Peter Liese on the revision of the EU emissions trading system. We have a proposal to reject the Commission proposal, Amendment 682 by roll call. The vote is open. Vote is closed. And it is rejected. We therefore vote on the provisional agreement. Amendment 680 by Roko. Vote is open. Vote is closed. And it is adopted. Amendment 681. Who is in favor? Who is against? Who abstains? Adopted. And thereby the first reading of Parliament is closed. Congratulations. Move now to a report by Mr. Peter Liese on the monitoring, reporting and verification of greenhouse gas emissions from maritime transport. We have a proposal to reject the Commission proposal. Amendment 2 by Roko. Vote is open. Vote is closed. And it is rejected. We vote on the provisional agreement. Amendment 1 by Roko. Vote is open. <clears throat> vote is closed and it is adopted and thereby the first reading of Parliament is closed. We move next uh, to the report by Mr. Mohammed Shahim on the carbon border adjustment mechanism. Vote on the provisional agreement, Amendment 266 by Roko. The vote is open. Vote is closed and it is adopted and thereby the first reading of Parliament is closed. I give the floor to the Commissioner Kadri Simpson. Dear President, Honourable Members of the Parliament, um, <clears throat> the Commission records that the final agreement reached by the co-legislators on the establishment of the carbon border adjustment mechanism has evolved significantly in terms of the human resources required for its implementation within the Commission compared to the legislative financial statement which accompanied the original proposal, which was based on a decentralized model of implementation. The additional Commission human resources required by the final agreement endorsed by the co-legislators will not allow the Commission to respect the principle of stable staffing and will require additional resources to be authorised by the European Parliament and the Council during the annual budget procedure, along with the related budgetary appropriations. Without any additional means, the, the options to finance the necessary administrative costs of CPAM cannot be easily found. Heading 7, European Public Administration of the Multiannual Financial Framework 2021-27 was built on the principle of stable staffing and there is no margin to finance additional officials. The margin in Heading 3, Natural Resources and Environment may in principle accommodate IT-related expenditure subject to its limits. The reduced availabilities under the heading will limit the capacity of the EU budget to finance new political priorities. Thank, Thank you, you, Ms. Simpson. We will move now to the report by Mr. David Kaza and Ms. Esther De Lange on the Social Climate Fund. We vote on the Provisional Agreement, Amendment 171. By roll call, the vote is open. Vote is closed. And it is adopted. Amendment 172. Who is in favour? Who is against? Who abstains? And it is carried. Thereby, the first reading of Parliament is closed. Congratulations to the rapporteurs. <laughs> Move to the report by Ms. Sunsana Glavak on the revision of the EU emissions trading system for aviation. We vote on the provisional agreement. Amendment 96 by Roko. The vote is open. Vote is closed. And it is adopted. Amendment 97. Who is in favour? Who is against? Abstains? 
adopted and thereby the first reading of Parliament is closed and I give the floor to Mr. Peter Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, President. Dear colleagues, um, we have now agreed on the cornerstone of the Fit for 55. Like Esther de Lange said, the Holy Trinity, ETS, CBAM, and the Social Climate Fund. This is good for the climate, it's good for people, and it's good for our jobs in industry. One point only I wanted to make. Many people say <clears throat> the Social Climate Fund is so small. Uh, it is big, it is more than 80 billion. But what we achieved, and this was something where the Parliament fought it for, for many, many years, also the member states' money, the national revenues, and all in all, it, it may be about 700 billion euros, should be spent on purpose. They should not disappear somewhere. They should be spent for innovation. And from the ETS too, we also have made clear they should be spent taking social aspects into account. This is important, not only the Social Climate Fund, so it's an overall package. Thank you to everybody who helped, to Esther, David Kaza, Zuchana Glavak. A special greeting to Mohamed Shaim because it's his birthday today, and thank you to our staff. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Mr. Shaim. So we'll move to the report by...